Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jeff. I built over 350 landing pages for six to eight figure Shopify brands. In this video, I should be showing you how you can use AI like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude to do your market research and copywriting, and then use Replo to build the page. I'll drop the actual page, the prompts in the description below. Let's get right into it. And real quick, just to kind of show you everything that you'll see in this video, just because I want you to keep watching this video. Um, This is the exact prompts that you'll get in the description. This is the first one here. Um, This is what we did in Gemini. We can also use ChatGPT, no problem. And using the actual prompts, it's all copy and paste, just changing the specific product and the avatar that you're targeting. So in this case, we use peanut butter dogs. And then these are the actual responses that the prompts gave us. We just get those as PDFs. And then using Replo, actual, actual templates that they have is using that as a base and then the copy that it spits out with Claude, we can just copy and paste the copy into Replo and create landing pages really quickly. And then of course just work on the visuals. But yeah, that's a quick overview of this video. All right, this is a video on how to create landing pages really quickly with AI. So we're gonna use Gemini to do the research strategy. And then we're also gonna use Claude to actually do the copy for it. We're gonna work on this brand right here. This is Paw Power. They sell peanut butter for dogs. And what we're gonna do is just we just copy and paste these templates right into Gemini and then use the deep research. So then pretty much what you want to do is just replace whatever the product and niche is for your soap or peanut butter for dogs. Super simple. Just let that run. So we're pretty much just going to let this thing run and then it's going to create that psycho graphics brief for us. The next thing we're going to do is yeah see okay great so we have the executive summary and then first what you want to do is just export to docs <clears throat> and then we can download this as a pdf so there then the next thing is to doing the second prompt which is the competitor we have this right now we can do this copy that in again it's just copy paste the prompts that we have in the google doc peanut butter for dogs and we're looking for competitors in the u.s then obviously let this run and start research and I will get back to you after this. But yeah, it's going to let it run. It'll probably take five, 10 minutes or so. All right. So now we created the competitor research doc. Same thing as before. We can export this to docs and the same thing as before is go to uh, file, download and PDF. Now from here, we could do the last prompt, which is just the unique mechanisms. We're going to copy this, throw that into Gemini or ChatGPT, and we'll let this run from here. But as you can see, it's pretty much just step by step through each of the prompts, starting with this one, psychographic first, competitor second, unique mechanism third. And then after this, we will move to Claude to actually write the copy for the landing page. So just let this run, and I'll get back to you when it loads. All right, we're back with some unique mechanisms. So let's just go through this together. And the first one is urbanization nutrition gap. So talking about trails are recent is a flaw. So which is was not founded on optimal nutrition. Okay, I don't mm, reason you can't trust human because mother. No, that's why. So I like the heavily processed angle right here. Like I think we can go deeper there. So I think. Stick health problems for their dogs. Simple one, two, natural standards. Oh, where's, where's the plus? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll let this run. Sorry, that was me rambling a bit. But basically, what I'm looking for is just like something that's angled more so on making the other snacks that they feed their their dogs as the the problem and causing their causing their health health issues so going for like the one and two ingredient because this product not sure if i showed you guys but this is a peanut butter that's like super natural and it's not anything crazy so okay for this one here the only ingredient i think is like peanut butter and like maybe yeah it's just peanut butter and honey anyways we can go from here even so yeah the number four is probably the is a good one okay so then watch this so then this is what we do with this we go number four copy this let's open up cloud that's right write me a pre-sell landing page for pop power for, for dogs then attach a cycle pay brief and a yes so then this is where we grab there those two will be dropped in and we'll let this run and it's gonna run for a while it's, it's, it's gonna take a bit so let's let this run Okay, and now we have a full landing page, all ready written 
and it's already formatted to make it really easy. So then this is the last step right here, which is to go to Replo. I have templates available that you guys can use. For example, like this one right here is like a simple listicle, but pretty much based on what you get from Cloud, you can just create a list or an advertorial or a landing page from this. So what I would do is go to the browse templates, go to advertorial and just find one. I think this one is really solid. So let's go to duplicate template. And then from here, what you're going to do is just simply copy and paste everything that you see. So here, you see that it's super easy to just whip up a page super quickly for you by, right? We can do something like even like, of course, we would need to work on like these small little elements like the date, author, the writer, the, the graphic, whether it be a, a video, image, whatever, and even adding more elements. So real quick, what I like to do is just reuse other elements and then shape it from there. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's take this one right here, the subheadline, just command D to duplicate. And what we can do is just to fit this type of graphic right here, like as a warning sign, you can do something like, well, depending on how you want to set this up, so if we want to show this above the fold, which I think we could do, let's just first let's copy paste this right here. And then uh, let's say we, we want to recreate this exact thing right here. That's probably the easiest way to show this. Two options, but one easy way is just command G to group it and then create it in the group. And then what we can do is just go to wrap content and let's add some spacing. So just use rem. Rem is just another unit. Percentages are also one that you can use. You can also use pixels as well. I'm sure there's other people who have opinions on it. You can do whatever you want. And then I'm just going to use the exact image uh, color just to kind of keep it going. Just copy that. And then we'll get a border going. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Let's just use this one here. And there's also a radius as well, right? So let's just use 20 pixels. Maybe that's too much. Let's do 10. Let's get 1.5, even 2. Right, cool. Now, the last thing we can do is adding um, some text. So copy this one here, paste it down, copy this as a text, and then you can paste this. Boom. This is really solid. Now, the last thing you want to add that. So you want to copy hold these two select both of them command g and let's also add a icon an icon and we're going to use this as the, the alert thing the warning the caution for us to this one of course we can use it the actual image we get that or if there's there's an emoji that we can use also actually we can even use an emoji along caution yeah, we'll copy that paste and then we, we don't even need to use this then we can get rid of this something as simple as that if you want some space you could add a gap or you can make this max width you could set it as a specific thing of course you could change this that's the font wall but yeah that's a quick little tutorial on how to use ChatGPT or gemini to do the customer research strategy coming with angles and then using cloud to write the copy it's going to do everything as long as you just submit these things it's going to have enough to really just write solid art. and last thing to mention real quick of course when you're writing the copy you don't have to take the first thing that cloud or your a gives you you can always iterate and improve it section by section so by going like this headline sucks and we write by more and then just by each section each headline we can go and improve on each one of those and the whole point i'm making is you don't have to stick with the first thing that they give you like why premium dog treats are actually starving your dog like, this is much better than the one before right appreciate it if you like this um please like subscribe drop a comment if you have any questions and yeah appreciate it i'll also leave the the docs in the description the, the prompts as well Appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.